by myself in a hotel room for five weeks with no contact from the outside world and only allowed outside of the hotel room for one hour a day. You may know me, you may recognize me from TV, or you may not know me at all, but soon you will. My name is Jared. Hello, bonjour, and welcome to the very first episode of Rags and Roses. Now, who am I, what am I doing here on YouTube, and what does Rags and Roses even mean? That first question is a little open-ended, and I'm still learning more and more every single day on this journey that we call life. But I will say, there have been a few major events in the recent past that have really shaped who I've become today. At 18 years old, my freshman year of college, I had two of my good friends pass away in very quick succession and that was the first time I really ever had to deal with mortality and come to grips with the fact that you know life is so fragile and fleeting and it could be gone at any moment second just like you and everyone else in the world we experienced COVID and COVID took a lot of things from everybody and I was gearing up to what I thought was going to be the greatest senior year that has ever been experienced in college history but that didn't happen and being away from people being away from the world and the whole world being on pause it put a lot of things into perspective for me but probably the most influential thing has been being by myself in a hotel room for five weeks with no contact from the outside world and only allowed outside of the hotel room for one hour a day waiting to get into a reality TV dating show. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but that's what happened. And it was there when I had so much time to think and really become aligned with, you know, the person I was aiming to become, the person I'm still trying to become today. And it's actually where I came up with the idea for this channel, Rags and Roses. And I even have the notebook and the notes inside to prove it. I came up with the whole concept in there when I had so much time. It's now been nearly two years since that time in the hotel. I'm 25. I've since moved from my hometown of Los Angeles all the way across the country to Miami. I'm a signed model, a former reality TV consistent, and now a YouTuber. My hope here is that I can inspire you on your personal growth journey to take risks, to be expressive through art, fashion, music, creativity, to live fully, to live passionately and authentically, and to let you know that there are other people out there just like you, and I'm one of them. If any of that you know, sounds like something that you can vibe with, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff so that people like you and me and other people in the community can can join and start the conversation you know so we can grow together rags and roses well if you didn't pick up on it already it's kind of a play on the old phrase rags to riches where that phrase is used to describe someone who has come from an extreme poverty to wealth you know it's growth it's a journey and i really like that idea but for me I wanted to focus more on the riches of the mind, life experience, and everything that really makes me feel rich in life. Rags is also a metaphor for clothing, and I love fashion, and I believe that fashion and self-expression is a huge part of my identity. Roses are a symbol for growth. It's a symbol for love, for passion, for fire. And that's what this is all about. The journey from one little seedling to a blossoming, blooming bouquet of roses. What to expect? I'm going to be posting weekly podcasts or video diaries, kind of just like this. You, me, the camera, and whatever topics of discussion that I feel have been pertinent in my life. Also would like to give you guys a sneak peek into my life with some vlog style videos. And that's probably what next week's video will be like. I also kind of want to get into video essays, like creating short films, more creative cinematic kind of things, but those will take a little bit more time. I also want to get into street interviews, but one step at a time. This is only the first episode. 
So I gotta take it easy and, and make it as easy as I can for myself. I've got a big vision, but in order to move a mountain, you must first move small stones. And if I have one message for you today, if you have something that you feel strongly about, a dream, a passion, a vision, just do it now. We don't have that much time on this earth. Life is fragile. Tomorrow isn't always guaranteed. And the thing is, people are gonna judge you anyway. So you might as well just do it. You know, this is something that I always struggled with and maybe that's why it took so long for me to put out a YouTube video. I am a perfectionist and like most creatives who are perfectionists, the fear of not producing a good thing often is what holds you back from even starting it in the first place. The fear of being bad, the fear of not being good at something. I think like a lot of times I look at people who have been doing it for ages, people who are experts in their field, people who have done it for years, people who have gone through the reps and the mistakes and have been through a journey to produce such great work. And because I can't make something like that, like them right now, it stops me from doing it at all. So my message to you is start now because it's the message I'm telling to myself because what I make now is gonna peril in comparison to what I'm gonna be able to produce later if I continue to do this day in, day out, week in, week out, month, years. It's not gonna be perfect, but life isn't perfect. And you're not perfect, I'm not perfect. Embrace the fact that you're a beginner, just like I'm trying to do right now. Start it now, do it scared, and eventually you'll get to where you want to be. One thing that I'm going to do at the end of every one of these, and I encourage you to do the same thing, is, uh, you know, kind of like a practice of gratitude and, you know, presence. At the end of each week, my rose, my bud, and my thorn. Your rose being something that you're excited about, happy about, present here right now in this moment. Your bud, something that you're excited for you know, something that's coming up, something to look forward to, and your thorn, something that's bugging you, something that is challenging you or, you know, that's that's kind of getting in your way. So without further ado, I'll give you my rose, my bud, and thorn, right? My rose is the fact that I'm starting this YouTube. It's been years in the making, from conception in this notebook to me turning on this camera, this mic, and talking to you right now on this screen. This is my rose. For my bud, next week, I'm going to New York. I'm gonna go meet with my modeling agency for the first time in person in their office, stay with my good friends, and it also happens to be fashion week. And so that's why I think next week's video is gonna be more of a vlog. New York, concrete. Um, we'll leave that to Alicia Keys. My thorn, I don't know, what, what's really been bugging me recently? I think mostly the whole, I, it, I mean, this is gonna sound like I'm, I'm complaining maybe, but having a day job. <laughs> like I got to pay the bills in this economy. Like I just want this, you, me, the camera, the mic, content creation, modeling, creative industry. That's what I want to be involved in. Doing something where I really, really enjoy the process, no matter how long it takes, no matter how hard it is, that the pure enjoyment of it all is what keeps me going. So that's my thorn. Let me know in the comments, what is your rose, your bud and your thorn? What are you happy about right now? What are you looking forward to? And what's been bugging you? Rags and Roses, episode one. That's a wrap. My name is Jared. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you next week in New York.